flu in general, and swine flu in particular, is most likely transmitted through droplets or contact, direct contact with patients. It is not thought to really be transmitted primarily just through aerosols. And so hand washing for regular flu has been shown to be very effective in reducing transmission. It's generally recommended for uh, that hand washing occur for at least 15 seconds. Some people recommend a minute for certain hospitalized uh, situations, but in general about 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, how often really depends on your situation. Certainly if you've been around somebody who's coughed or has uh, respiratory symptoms, you should wash after you've been exposed to that person. Or if you yourself have had a cough or a cold, you should wash your hands um, relatively frequently, for certainly before you touch other people, um, and try to keep from coughing or sneezing on others. Try to cover your face if you cough or sneeze. If you've covered with your hands, then wash your hands after that. You can also use the gel cleaners, but uh, perfectly uh, well, fine to use uh, soap and water. Some uh, children may, sometimes children may be more susceptible to a particular strain because it hasn't, it's, it, it, older people may have already been exposed to a similar strain and therefore may have more immunity. So it really depends on the individual stain, strain in a, diff, in a given year. However, children are more likely to have contact with secretions from other children, for instance, in daycare or in school settings. So that's why it's thought that children may be at higher risk in some situations. So it really depends on where the children are, what kind of strain is circulating at the time. It's at this time, it appears that young children are not high, at higher risk for getting swine flu in this particular um, outbreak situation. Uh, it appears, in fact, that young adults between 25 and 44 years of age seem to be the highest risk group for uh, contracting the swine flu um, so far. So the critical issue with flu is that the hallmark is a fever. So if a child has a fever, then either the child should just be kept home, and this goes for adults as well, people should not be in situations where they're with, in crowded areas with lots of people, or at work if they have a fever. If you have a fever and your symptoms are mild, you stay home. Same with your child. If the child or the parent or an adult have symptoms that require medical attention, uh, then they should go see their provider. But if it's a simple fever, uh, no other symptoms, or even respiratory symptoms with fever, they can stay home unless the parent feels that the child needs medical attention. At that point, the parent or caregiver should call uh, the provider and see if they should be seen by their provider. Uh, it's important, again, to emphasize that any person who has a fever with or without flu symptoms, such as cough or sore throat, should not go to work, should not go to school.